We're now going to talk about the new symbol of n choose r. And this is by definition equal to, whenever we see this, is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So whenever I see this, I immediately write this. And so to use that, suppose we have 4 choose 1. This would be 4 factorial over 1 factorial times 4 minus 1 factorial. Now, I like to jump straight to this point. This is just 1 factorial times 3 factorial. These two have to add up to this one. And if they do, then we just get 4 times 3 factorial over 1 times 3 factorial. Divide out the 3 factorials, and I just get 4. All right. Let's look at 6 choose 2. So I put a 6 factorial on the top, a 2 factorial, and a 6 minus 2 factorial. This is the step I usually jump to. 4 factorial, because 2 plus 4 is 6. So it's a 6 factorial times 5 factorial times 4 factorial. So we're, we're breaking this down. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to break this number down to the bigger one, wherever it is. And then this is just 2 times 1 times 4 factorial. The 6 and the 2 divide and leave a 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. Finally, what about 12? Choose 9. Well, I'm going to jump right to it just so you can see it. This becomes 9 factorial times 3 factorial, which is 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 factorial, or 9 factorial times 3 times 2 times 1, which I don't need. The 9 factorials go away. The 3 goes into the 12 and leaves a 4, and the 2 goes into the 4 and leaves a 2. So I get 22 times 10, which is 220. And so this is how we use n choose r. And again, this says if I have 12 objects in a bag and I choose 9 of them, there are 220 possible combinations that I could get from that. Different combinations.